us do a lot of social media training ourselves online, um, offline, so for our enterprise boards or government bodies or whatever. But what we find with those is you might get um, a group of 10 people of varying knowledges. And it's really hard to accommodate all those personally. So we started doing the online training because even though we're not meeting face to face, you do tend to get more of a personal experience from it because we're emailing it every day. People can get in touch with us with their queries. They can learn in their own time. They get homework. So we're actually finding we're getting more personal contact through not actually meeting people, which is unusual. Lorna, it seems to me that uh, it's not so long ago since people were very dismissive of social media as frivolous and a waste of time and trivial and certainly no use for business or anything practical. I get the feeling that has changed. It has, it has. I mean, people are using social media now because people buy from people. And social media gives you the chance to put across your personality behind your brand and behind your company. So that people can not only recognize your face, but know what makes your business tick and what your business is all about. So have you seen an increase, Amanda, in, in demand as a result? Absolutely, particularly Facebook. I'm a big Twitter fan. I love it if more businesses were using Twitter, but they all want to use Facebook. So huge amount of people coming to me are arriving on courses that want to learn how to use Facebook for business and how to use it effectively. I think a lot of people will go and start using Facebook and give up quite quickly because they're not seeing a return. So it's really important to like work out how you can get a return on the time you're spending on Facebook. Which is more effective, Twitter or Facebook, or is it Horses for Courses? What I like about Twitter is Facebook, you have to get everyone to come to you to like your page. So you're spending a lot of time doing that. On Twitter, you can do a Twitter search. You can go and find your customers that are already there online and talk to them directly. And there's a huge amount of new people coming onto Twitter now. It's becoming more popular. I think the announcement of the IPO seems to have done something for it. So there's all these newbies on there. What it doesn't have is the number of users that Facebook has. I mean, everyone is on Facebook. So that's the advantage of Facebook, really. Your audience is going to be there. What does um, social media offer uh, the farming community, Lorna? Oh, goodness, I could be talking for a while here. Um, social media, particularly Twitter, to take Twitter as one example, because I could talk about them all, it's huge for the farming community. One, farmers tend to be quite isolated. So you know, having been able to chat to people, just having a casual chat, having a laugh on Twitter is perfectly possible at any time of the day or night. Two is looking for information. So Twitter could be compared to a discussion group in your in your pocket. So if you've got a question, whether it's whether to what to dose your lambs or what to doing with you know difficult cow calving, whatever it might be, you ask the question, and somebody out there is going to have not got the right answer. They're going to have an answer for you. And also here in Ireland, farmers create fabulous food, and it's created it's produced to a really high standard. And by blogging and tweeting about our production of how we create how we produce our food, we're educating the consumer so that people know that Irish produce is a niche product. You mentioned blogging there, and uh, that is something I suppose which predates a lot of the Twitter and Facebook and things like that. Is it still relevant? Oh yes, oh, yes. We're both mad bloggers. <laughs> the, your blog should be the hub of your social media activity, whatever you're trying to sell. So basically, when you're using Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, etc., to drive traffic to your blog, so they can then read more about your company or about your farming enterprise, whatever it might be. I mean, farmers in general who are who are selling to the Glanvia or to the Slaney Meats, or whatever it might be, they have a, they have a role to play because they're showing consumers of Irish products how it's produced. But for a farmer or any business who's selling directly to market, they should definitely be blogging and tweeting. Now you're doing face-to-face -face, um, uh, tutorials and and uh, seminars here at the uh, at the Plowing Championship here today, Amanda. What kind of response are you getting from the public? really good actually it's really nice to meet people a lot of farming businesses have come to us very business focused which we're glad because that's where, where we're focused as well so um, we've met people from all sorts of businesses that I wouldn't even understand Lorna's the farmers amongst us but they're very keen to get on using social media as a communications tool and as a selling tool so we've done really well anyone that's come and sat down with us has wanted to know more and that's good so, so tell me again what is it that you offer what is what is the the pitch if you like for we teach social um, it's online social media courses, so at the moment it's by email, so broadband's not an issue. You wait for the email to come in, you can work through it in your own time. Um, we'll give you feedback, um, you can contact us for questions, um, so it's very personalised training experience. Where can people find out more, Lorna? At weteachsocial.com.